that paused it. So it stopped it. It didn't pause it. It stopped it. So I don't know. So now instead of pausing it, I think I just stopped it and restarted it. I'm trying to figure everything out. I don't know if I can pause a video. I'm not sure if I can pause a video. Yeah, that started it over for sure. It didn't pause it. It stopped it and started it over. So, I, I don't think I can pause. I don't know. I guess when I go to check this video out, I'll be able to see whether I actually paused it or stopped it. All right, it's beginning to boil. You want it to come to a complete full rolling boil. You know, rolling boil is one that does not stop when you stir it. That's what a full rolling boil is, is when it, it doesn't stop when you're stirring. So it just keeps boiling as you stir. That's not quite happening yet. And you have to do this on high heat. I don't know if you can, you can probably see, I don't have a fan to counteract my uh, steam. I don't have a fan on my stove. Ow. Got to be very careful. I just splattered out and hit my wrist. It was kind of hot. So that's why I don't want to do this around my grandson because it's too hot. I don't want him to get burnt. It's so easy. Okay, so now it's starting to get to the point where it's boiling as I'm stirring. It's not going, the boiling is not going away as I'm stirring. All right, so now this is the point where you want to put your sugar in. Put your sugar in all at once. And you start stirring. This is one process you definitely cannot walk away from or stop paying attention to. You have to pay attention to it. You, Oops, careful with that. You have to pay attention. You have to keep stirring it. Constant stirring. But it's a lot easier than the freezer jam. If you've got a lot of people in your family that can help you stir the sugar and the stuff into the peaches, you can do that, but I prefer this. So, now, keep stirring it. Your sugar is dissolving. Let this come back to a boil. There's still a fair amount of boil, uh, stirring involved. Let this come back to a boil. Now, you know, I watch other people videotape this way and then post to YouTube. So I'm wondering if they don't have a pause button, if they're actually starting and stopping it and then 
they are just editing it all into one video. See, I don't know how to edit anything either. I, I have not learned how to edit videos or anything like that. I do everything on my phone. I don't do hardly any kind of thing like that on a computer. I don't have a laptop. I don't have a tablet. So, um, you know, maybe the people I think they are pushing a pause button, maybe they're not. Maybe they're stopping it and restarting it every time. Which could very well be possible, you know. I just think it looks like it's paused, but she might have edited everything into one. I'm not sure if I could do that. Sometimes when I do videos and I try to post them places, it tells me I'm going, my videos are too long. All right, so coming back to a rolling boil. Now that it's boiling again, I set my timer for one minute. Oops, not 10 minutes, one minute. And then you constantly, well, it's got to be at least two minutes. It says one minute. But I'm going to set it two minutes. thought that you had to boil and stir it for more than a minute. I thought it was like two or three minutes. I don't think it's going to hurt anything doing it for two minutes if it says one minute. I don't know. I've never had a problem with my jam not setting up before. I've never had that issue. Maybe it is only a minute. As soon as this clicks to one minute, I'll turn it off. Look at that beautiful color. I don't know if you can see that because of the steam, but it sure is pretty. All right, I'm gonna shut that off. All right, now take it off the stove. going to be ready to um, put in my canning jars and get on the canner, get in the canner. All right, so I'm going to let that stove is flipping hot. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, get my jars together and then I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I got my jars ready to go. I got my jelly my jam right there i got my funnel right here i'm going to get myself a um, heat proof measuring cup if i can find one and i'm going to start getting my jelly my jam i keep calling it jelly into my jars This is a very hot process. You got to very, be very careful because it can burn you. It can burn you really bad. I'm leaving myself about a half an inch head space. You don't want, you have to leave yourself enough room in your jar for the canning process. You don't want to shortchange yourself because it won't seal in the end. I'm doing 
half pint jelly jars. I like to do half pints because I can share some with friends, family, It's just, um, I, I just like those jars better. Scraping it all out of there. But I can, pouring a little into each one. Oops, making a mess. I'm a queen of making messes. All right, that's done. I just run some hot water in my pan. I keep it from being a total sticky mess. I take a wet paper towel. It's very important to go around the rim of the jars to ensure that there's nothing on the rims of your jars to get stuck between the rim and the lid when you're canning. Very, very important step. Just want to make sure there's nothing there to stick. Okay. Now, take your lids and your rim, and you put it on your jar. Fingertip tight. They don't have to be on there super tight, but you want them on there tight enough. And you got to do it quickly because these jars are hot. Very hot. Should have had my canner on the stove getting hot. Because you got to get these in your canner fairly quickly. I don't even have any water in there. I have to put hot water, hot water in my canner. I should have had that on the stove already. I tend to want to get my canner with water in it quicker. Um, put it on the stove, get it on high to get that hot water starting to get really hot. So it takes less time to boil. doing you turn my camera I'm just putting the jars in my canner sometimes what I'll do is if I'm making a whole bunch of jars which I don't know how many I'm actually going to get out of the rest of these peaches yeah, that's pretty good I could have I probably could have gotten a couple more in the middle but this is going to be fine I'm just going to get um, a 
a measuring cup, a bigger measuring cup. Because you want your jars to be about covered by two inches. probably go a little bit more than two inches just to ensure the canning process. All right. I'm gonna bring you over so you can see exactly what I did. Got my jars in my canner. I got my water probably more than two inches. My jar is two, or a little bit more than two inches deep. And um, now I'm going to put the lid on it and bring the stove to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to five or four, four and a half to five. You want to have a slow boil, just nice and gently, for 10 minutes. And then I'll come back after that and uh, show you the end process. Thanks for watching. This is uh, step two. Step three coming up.